I don't think I would like to live far from the ocean. I love going to the beach. Habitats are a complicated system of climates, plants, and animals. The living organisms that you can find in each habitat have evolved to thrive and survive in the places they live. Take the palm tree for instance. They do well in places that are hot and have lots of water, but struggle to survive in the cold. One type of palm tree, the coconut tree, has been described as the tree of life and is vital to its ecosystem. People and animals alike depend on it, as it provides many things. Their coconuts provide food for humans and other living things. The leaves on the coconut tree can be used in many ways. People use them to make shelter. Some cultures use the leaves to make brooms, baskets, and many other useful items. The wood is used for building bridges and huts. But palm trees, like the coconut tree, needs a hot climate and lots of water to thrive. If you were to plant a palm tree in a colder place like Canada, they would not survive. Put the lime in the coconut, the coconut, the coconut. Palm trees are pretty, but they can live near me. It's too cold. No, is it enough water? Every habitat has its own amazing community of plants and animals that depend on the climate and each other to survive. If you take one plant or animal out or change the climate, it affects the entire circle of life. My favorite extinct animal ever is the passenger pigeon. The passenger pigeon went extinct because it was overhunted. One example would be the wolves of the Yellowstone Park. Due to hunting, they almost became extinct in 1930. Without them, the elk and the deer that they preyed upon thrived, but their overgrazing of plants destroyed the streamside willows in Aspen, which were the habitat for the cute songbirds. Without the willows in Aspen, the river started to erode, taking dirt from the riverbanks. The loss of the songbirds and other birds that eat bugs led there to be more mosquitoes and other insects. Mosquitoes bug me because they just drink my blood. They bite me too much. So without the wolf, the entire ecosystem was out of balance. When the wolves were brought back to Yellowstone Park in 1995, they did prey on the elk and the deer, but plant life returned to the riverbanks and many animals returned, including birds, beavers, fish, and other animals. If you take one plant or animal out, it messes everything up. You mess up the whole ecosystem. If you take the villagers out of Minecraft, zombies would have nothing to eat. Plants and animals evolve over time to survive in the habitat they live in. An example would be camels, who were built to survive living in a desert. They can travel up to 100 miles without taking a drink of water. Camels can get water by eating the desert plants, such as cactus, when they need to hydrate. For extra long trips, they can use fat reserves on their humps that can be broken down in the food and water when they need it. They can also close their nose and eyes to keep out the sand. For all the great ways they can adapt, they would not be able to adapt in the cold of Antarctica. Their strengths to adapt would not help them. Because their bodies are not used to the cold, they likely wouldn't survive. What animals live in your habitat and why are they important? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.